Salutations Nikarikis, welcome back to another video, and I'm very sorry that I was gone for so long. I know it was only two days, but I like doing daily uploading, but I was busy with some personal matters, but don't worry, they were not bad, it was all fun, but yeah. Anyways, today we are doing a top five, and today's top five is my top five Five Nights at Freddy's plushes. Just before we get into this, this is my personal opinion, so if you guys have any plushes that aren't on this list, then let me know which ones are your favorite in the comments below. And if you guys don't agree, just know that this is my personal opinion. And if you guys want to share me uh, share yours, let me know in the comments below as well. So, th um, that being said, let's get right in to number five. And at number five, we have Glamrock Freddy. I know this is an unpopular opinion, but because no one really liked the security breach way, but I very much liked it, and I really liked the Glamrock Freddy plush that they produced. I thought it was adorable. And I know people are like, but what about the accuracy? But you also need to appreciate for what this is. It's a video game plush. You're not going to expect like the most highest of detail because all of the plushes are just simplified, cute versions of the characters we all know and love. So this one is definitely, without a doubt, adorable. And I think the colors on there are still really good. They, they did miss a few things, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't make it good because it's still, like, you can still tell who it is by looking at it. I, th I can tell it's Glamrock Freddy. I've seen the trailer. Like I've seen some images. It looks accurate. Sure, they could have added a few things, but if you are that picky, then add them yourself. Uh, felt isn't that expensive, and hot glue isn't either. But um, I really like what they came with, or what they came up with, and the fabric isn't even an issue for me, honestly, because uh, it kind of feels like the GE Sonic plushies. Um, for the felt, felt that they chose uh, to use to make the plushes and I still think they are they're good They don't feel cheap and uh, Glamrock Freddy is really awesome and uh, that is why he deserves number five on this list At number four we have lefty. I love the lefty plush. It is so awesome I love having it displayed, but also it's super soft and it's really accurate. I love the red head a hat <laughs> Just seeing like red on a Freddy uh, is just amazing to me. Um, the one thing I would change is like making the gray, like the body more black than gray. But uh, with what they had, they did a great job. And yeah, I would have centered the uh, the pupil and the black eye a little more, kind of like just give a golden Freddy eye. But it still looks really good nonetheless. You can tell who it is yet again. And I really, really like it. It was from a great wave. I love all the pizzeria sim. I, eventually, I do want all of them from that wave. But Lefty was a great one. I'm pretty sure it is my favorite out of the whole pizzeria simulator wave. And that is why he deserves number four on my list. All right. Next up, we have Toy Chica. I love this plush. Just by looking at it, I, my brother does have the Toy Chica plush. And it's really awesome. I don't have one yet, but I will be getting one one day. And like with what I've seen from my brothers, it looks great. I love it. And it's just my favorite out of the Chicas. She's my favorite uh, female character at the moment. And she's really awesome. Um, it's just, they made Toy Chica adorable. And it was just really awesome to see how much they had the simplifier, but yet still keep some of her key, uh, key details. And it was just really cute. It was one of the first time they ever used the flat eyes on a FNAF plush. And it was really adorable to see. I thought it looked great. And it is so adorable. The one thing that they could have done to make it perfect was give her a little uh, like chicken tail. But uh, even though she doesn't have a tail, it would still be really cute nonetheless. But all in all, great plush. I'm excited to get one for myself. And that is why Toy Chica deserves number three on my list. All right, at number two, we have Nightmare Bonnie. Now, this one I do have. Um, this one is really awesome. I love Nightmare, the Nightmare Bonnie plush. People really give it a lot of hate because of the nightmares. Uh, yet again, I am not picky with any of the uh, any of the plushes uh, released by any company, except for Stanley, because Stanley was just a lazy piece of shit. But um, it's still a great plush because, one, you can tell who it is. If you're a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, and I am, and that's what matters. We're trying to give joy to the people who know the franchise. If you don't, then you're not going to know who it is. You're not like looking for like the most accurate plush, and that's like why Funko does get a lot of hate in general. And Nightmare Bonnie really like brought up like a lot of mixed feelings. People loved it, people hated it. Personally, I love it. 
It looks really good. I love the simple tears. I like that they did still keep the purple to it so you can tell so it doesn't look more like a blue bon uh, like a toy Bonnie ripoff. And yeah, it, it still looks really good. The tear on the stomach is still it's still good. Doesn't it, like it's not perfect, but like nothing is. But I love the Nightmare Bonnie plush and he's so adorable and one of my favorites like to display in general. So and that's why Nightmare Bonnie deserves number two on my list. And number one, Golden Freddy. I do have this one because I bought it when it was first released. I love the Golden Freddy plush. It is one of my favorite plushes to date that I own. And it is so accurate and it's so soft and I kept it in great condition over the years. It still looks brand new. And I honest to God love the plush. It looks really good. I don't have any complaints about it because like it was from the first uh, wave and all the ones from the first wave are like god level accuracy and like just great it just looked like the ones from you from the video games and the golden freddy plush is no different i really love that plush it looks so good the black pupils were done right the hat the cute little button nose like the like lighter yellow on the muzzle like it's just an all-around great plush i'm so lucky that i have him and knowing that he's this rare and so expensive is even more awesome because it just makes him all the more special each year that I own him. And I'm like, I'm planning on owning all my stuff when, for as old as I can be. But Golden Freddy is definitely going to be one that I'm going to be making sure that they stay in great condition. And that is why he deserves number one on my list. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I let me know what your guys' favorites are in the comments below and also just a little side note if you guys want to if you guys make any FNAF pl custom plushes and if you guys want to submit them follow the link in the description to my discord server you guys will be able to see all the custom plushes and also you guys will just be able to chat with other people that watch my videos and also I'll be able to chat with you too so yeah link in the description but with that being said thank you guys all so much for watching make sure you guys comment like subscribe all that good stuff. And if you guys are new, please consider joining the Nick Creek family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you in the next video. Roll the credits.